Hello and welcome back to the PDF Element channel. My name is George. Today we're going to learn how to edit text on PDF Element for mobile. And we're going to learn this for both iPhone and Android. I hope these tutorials will be very useful for you in your day-to-day -day work. In this video, we're going to review some of the basic aspects that make PDF elements so efficient, but today we're going to be doing it in the mobile version. Editing text on a device other than a computer might sound tricky, but once you know how to make it work, it's going to be very simple for you in your day-to-day -day work. So in the future, if you need to do something on your smartphone or your tablet, you won't hesitate. Welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn the tips and tricks for everything you need to be able to edit PDF using PDF Element for mobile on iPhone and Android. In this video we're going to cover how to edit text in a PDF file for iPhone and how to edit text in a PDF file for Android. Part 1. How to edit PDF text on iPhone. Editing text on iPhone is very easy when you have the right tools. The first thing we're going to need to do is make sure we have PDF Element installed on our iPhone. You can also do this on iPad. I'll show you just how straightforward it is with this amazing app. If you've not downloaded the app application yet, please go to the App Store and you can download it for free. Number one, editing text. Changing the font, style, size of your text and images in your PDF has never been so easy. PDF Element for iOS allows you to do these functions conveniently and easily. Through PDF Element, you can edit the text, line or paragraph in a very practical way. So first, open your PDF file within PDF Element and tap on the text button. This will let you add text and change font, style and size. Tap on the paragraph, line or text you want to make changes to. Then tap on the font name to open the edit options. Choose the text color, font type, font size and font style. Once you've finished, click on the done button to confirm. Voila, these steps were enough for you to learn how to edit text using PDF Element for iOS. Very easy, right? Surely you want to know not just how to edit text on your iPhone, but also how to add new text. PDF Element allows you to add text very easily. First, tap on the text button and then hit add text. Now tap the place you want to insert the text. Just type the words you want to add to the PDF file. If you then want to edit the text that you added, Tap the font name and edit the text color, font type, font size, and font style. To confirm changes, click the done button. Did you see how easy it was to add text to your PDF file? I'm sure you're learning all this very quickly. As if that were not easy enough, PDF Element also has even more features. And we're gonna be sharing some of them in the next video. I'll tell you in advance that it's going to be about how to edit a scanned PDF and recognize text in the iOS version. So stay tuned to our channel so you don't miss it when it comes out. Part two, we're done with the iPhone. We're gonna move on to editing text in PDF using Android. If you're an Android user, you might be wondering, is it possible to edit text in PDF for Android? And the answer is yes. PDF Element is also available completely for free on Android. The version for PDF Element on Android isn't exactly made for text editing, but it has very versatile markup tools, which allow you to carry out many other tasks. And with this, I'll show you how to edit PDF text in Android. Before we get started, we need to download PDF Element. So we're gonna to go to the Play Store, and from here, we can install the application. Once you've installed PDF Element, make sure you allow it to access files on your device and then select the document you want to edit. Now, all you have to do is touch the screen to activate the user interface with which you can access the tools for your application. In this interface, you'll find two editing modes. We have comment and text. Activating the comment mode, the bar will show some icons with which you can customize your markup tools. Before continuing, remember that to mark up the text in your PDF, you must first tap the screen and hold to activate the selection tool. Once you've selected the text you want to mark up, simply select the markup option you want to use. Now, let's go back to the markup preferences bar. The first option you will find in this bar will allow you to choose the color with which you want the highlighted text. With the second option, you can choose the color you want to use for underlining. With the third option, you can choose the color you want to use for strike through. With the fourth option, you can select a color to draw with a pencil. To use this tool, simply tap on the tool to activate it and you can freely draw on your document as if it were a canvas. With the fifth option, you can select a color to draw with a marker. To use this tool, as with the previous option, tap the tool to activate it. With the sixth option, you can insert notes in your document, activate the option, and tap on the place you want to place it. Once you have selected the place, a text box will appear where you can write and choose the color of the note. When finished, you can open your note by touching it. With the seventh option, you can choose and add shapes to your document. Tap the icon to activate it, and use your finger to position and resize it. The eighth icon will allow you to insert stamps into your document. To place stamps, simply tap on this icon, choose the stamp you want to insert, and tap it wherever you want to place it. This ninth icon is very important. With this tool, you can create and insert signatures in your document. Use this tool to create your signature, like uh, this one here. 
and sign as many times as necessary just by touching the screen. As I mentioned before, the PDF Element app on Android is not specifically designed for editing text, but still it's possible to edit text on PDF for Android. Now let's talk about the text editing mode. When you activate this option, you will notice that all the elements of the PDF have a frame, and this will indicate that you can edit its content. We can also edit the format and position. And that's it. Editing PDF text on Android was very simple, wasn't it? Now you know how to edit your text on PDFs on mobile for free, both with iOS and Android. I'm sure these tips will be very helpful for you in the future. Remember that PDF Element is not only useful for editing text. With this awesome app, you can manage your documents from virtually any device, even online using the Wondershare document cloud. If you want to know about how to edit your PDFs on any other devices, go check out our TikTok content and the other videos we have available on our YouTube channel, where you'll find many other amazing tips. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future tips and tricks.